group or class of people that are mentioned that are not going to make it into the kingdom. And if you're not going to the kingdom, then you're on your way to a devil's hell. All right. Amen. But here's the kicker. Okay. And such were some of us. Uh -huh. See, Paul was writing this letter to the church, so it's not like saying, oh, well, he, he's talking about them. Uh -huh. No, he's talking about the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hope I got some sanctified people in here that want me talking to the church uh -huh. this morning. Yeah, right. See, because that's real talk. Yeah. But you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified. Uh -huh. Meaning, yeah. just if I had never done it, uh -huh. I'm justified. Oh, bless his name, somebody. Come on, bless his name. Now, how many of you on here know that God is looking for a church without spot or blemish? Come on, I said, God is looking for a church without spot or blemish. So then my question to you this morning, which is going to be the title of our lesson, how big is your butt? Oh, my God. Wow. My God. Come on, how big, big. How big is your butt? That's right, I said it. Think about it for a minute. There's always been a physical fascination with um, La Derriere in the natural. But wait a minute, y'all imaginations run wild. We're not talking about in the natural this morning. We're talking about in the supernatural. I'm not talking anatomically, folks. I'm talking spiritually, so let's not get it twisted. However, let's keep it real. For in the spirit realm, saints, in the spirit realm, we as believers of God should have some of the biggest buds in older mankind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. don't hear me. I hear you. But that's okay. I'm going to digress for a minute because I'm going to let that one marinate and saturate. <laughs> but now, as we digress, did anybody notice that a good portion of those were sex sins that we're talking about? Because what's happening is God is making a statement, not a recommendation. Well, you know, I think it'd be all right if he did this. I don't believe that's what he's saying. He is making a statement to the church yeah. Yeah. as to who will not enter wow. the kingdom of God. Because, see, we're talking kingdom. I mean, it's his house. He can do what he wants to do, can he? Is he not sovereign? Look, if you were having an event, say, hey, wait a minute, you know what? I'm going to have this last party for pastor's event that's coming up. Can any and everybody off the street just walk in and go? No. I don't think so. No. You better RSVP or you better let somebody know that, hey, you know, I plan on attending this event. Uh -huh. Listen, it's going to be no different than the kingdom of God. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute didn't I? Did, did you get your golden ticket? Uh -huh. Is your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Listen, don't be fooled, church. Don't be fooled, please. Especially that young people by that old saying. You'll hear people say it all the time. We... We all got as children. Say that. No, we're not. In case you know that, no, we are not all God's children. We are all God's creation. Now, God has created all of us. However, God's children hear and know his voice, for he is the good shepherd. And we are his sheep. And the word tells us in John 10 27 that my sheep do what? They hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So now, well, we all got children. Are you following Jesus? Well, I don't believe in God. Then you're not one of God's children. Could be an end. Definitely not a saint. So the question would be, family, has God spoken to you lately? Are your spiritual ears open and in tune with what the Spirit is saying to the church? Amen. Now, I ask this because the text that we are dealing with is dealing with people. And like I said, it's probably people that's in the church, uh -huh. possibly being deceived, possibly going to lose your inheritance. Mm -hmm. That is your right to enter the kingdom of God. Because, see, when he laid on that cross and died and said it was finished, there was a, there was a gift. There was something that was given to you mm -hmm. to be able to enter in. He paid the price for each and every one of our sins, each and every one of our transgressions. Uh -huh. yeah. Freely he gave. Freely are we receiving. Uh -huh. right. Amen. Because see, we're all going to die. Yeah. None of us are going to get out alive. 
we, we're all going to pass. So when we die concerning eternity, there are only two options. I like to say this. You have your choice. Amen. Would you like smoking or would you like not smoking? <laughs> 